Hello. Oh, hi, Josh. <laughs> hello, hello. Just a quickie. Um, I'd been out this morning and, and usually I would have posted and sent stuff off um, this morning, but I was running somewhat late. So I thought, you know, I hardly ever show what's going out. So why not? So I'll have to bring up some details. I hear you had quite a spendy, I need to catch up on the video, you had quite a spendy boot sale I hear, Josh. <laughs> That's a, a bit of fun, isn't it? I spent a minimal amount of time at a boot sale yesterday. Yeah, yesterday morning. I was there very early because I knew the rain was forecast to come in a bit later. And when the rain started coming in, I ran home. <laughs> it's like, now I've had enough now. Going home. Don't do rain. Right, let's pull up and see what we've sold. Um, blah, blah. I had a negative feedback this morning. The thing is, the comment was very positive. <laughs> so I've gone back to her and said, would, would you mind awfully <laughs> changing it to a positive? Because it looks kind of old on my account. If they don't, then I'll just get eBay to remove it, I would imagine. You hit the charity shops hard. Ah, right. I know you'd had a big spend. I saw the 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 thumbnail. Oh, I'm going to sneeze, sorry. Ah. I saw the thumbnail and I, and I thought, that's, that's one of the ones I'm going to watch a bit later on. <laughs> so where are we? There we go. Let's go to salt. So, yeah, I went to a, a couple of charity shops this morning. My usual Monday morning thing. Um, but I've got some stock going out. Oh, hi, Lex. Hi, stall. Stall 69. Oh, 69. 69. I can't say that with these two things. Please excuse. Right, stuff going out. Not that. Right. I've got to find these and show you. Yeah, I've got to have a look at that. Hi, Lex. Oops. This is all a bit, a bit mad. It's all bagged up because I bag stuff, but this is crew clothing and it's just these cotton cable knit jumpers go. It went for, hang on, let me do a scrolly scrolly because I'm not very really good at this. Oh, it went for 24.99. I probably paid too quick for it, so happy with that. Quite like selling stuff like that. Right, hang, on. hang on, how are we going to do this? Okay, I sold a pair of shoes. These aren't stunning exciting. I mean, good God. Ugly, fugly, right? But people like these for driving and comfort. They're a brand I didn't know about, really. I just picked them up because they look nice. Mini Tonka. They are real suede. I haven't paid a couple of good for those. And they have gone for... $24.99. Don't mind that kind of a price point. Quite happy with that. We're good. More shoes. Oh dear, there's a bit squashed on the stuff now. The paper. Yes, they are looking squashed. This is my fault because not all of my shoes are properly stored. I will restore them. They're kind of like an old gold. They're Clark's. Again, kind of out there as designs go, but these things with tassels people like. These are Clark's Narrative, which, like the unstructured as everyone knows, seem to do reasonably well, and they're quite a decent size. There's six, I could have sworn there's a bit on the six. They were six, and I probably paid a couple of quid for them because they're not desperately old stock, and they went for £28 plus postage. Usually at three ninety nine, so I'd had those for quite a while. Then, oops, excuse me. Uh, I can remember. This doesn't show up much, but I have a few of these kind of mad skirts. This one's incredibly long, and that's coming from me. I think it's something ridiculous, like 43 inches long. <laughs> so, another lovely tall lady, very tall lady, has bought it. I've had this for a while. It's, it went for 14 99 a size 8, but very tall. So, I've probably cut the cost price on that because I've had it for a while. A French collection. You can't really see this, but it's a man's jacket. French collection. 
black cotton springtime kind of thing. Oh, that went for £15, so I, I think that's something I'd have for a long time. A showerproof jacket went for 15 quid. And old stock, trying to get rid one of the successes of the weekend. I might have shown this on the hall, I can't remember. This is a Laura Ashley throne. It's kind of this way around, or it switches to more gold and a bit of red on the reverse. Oh, no. Haha. <laughs> I've picked up the wrong thing. That's clever of me. This is the duvet set. What I actually sold was a Laura Ashley. God, that's happy bet. Was a Laura Ashley throw, which maybe I think I know where it is. I'll go and I'll go and pick it up and post it tomorrow. But it cost me. I I think it cost me a fiver because it was lovely and I knew it would go well. It's a throw, quite big, um, and it sold i put it on an auction started at 50 quid and it actually went for 109 pounds plus the postage plus they're in the usa so they're going to end up paying quite a bit more and she actually sent me a note saying um, that she's chuckling at herself that she needed two of these she paid two pound two dollars fifty us at a goodwill for the first one and the king's ransom for the second one so i just hope she's happy with it because it's a bit scary when something that big goes off, it would help if I sent her the correct thing. <laughs> mm. So I'm just having a quick look at the chat here. Gosh, there's loads of people in. Jewel, hello, Jewel Sells. Hello, Maggie on a mission. I like that one. So you changed your name, Stall. <laughs> ah, yes, I need to watch all. Good end. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Would you have worn them 10 years ago? <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Lots of lovely old shears. Fabulous. Is the buyer called Sally? Oh, go. No, Amy. <laughs> Phew. You were going to tell me that was someone absolutely... Um... <laughs> Next is the gift that won't shut up. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Right, okay. So that's stuff that's going out. Then there's jewellery going out. Uh, no, firstly, there's some 2HD diskettes, very old tech. Uh, they're not going for a great deal. They are 14 99 plus postage. I probably paid 50p for these or whatever. I've had them a while. So stop putting things back in the bag and I won't get another one. That's me rushing around this morning. Is that the one thing? God, easy mistake to make then. I would have felt a bit of a numpty if I'd done that and been out of pocket. Uh, right, in other news, I sold a very nice check glass bracelet with these. This is glass, not actually lapis, it's glass to look like lapis with gold bits in. Really nice condition. That went for, I might have paid a pound or two for that maximum. Um, again, I don't always remember what things cost. What did it go for? 19 because it is like new. It's incredible. Okay, so there's that there. There we go. Then I sold, I have to show you. I think I showed this on a haul. <laughs> Oh, is there more? <laughs> this is a rather old gold. It's the only way to describe it. Amazingly not missing any stones. God, I wouldn't want to wear it. It's so uncomfortable. There we go. There he is. He's a leopard. But he really is in a kind of an old gold tone. It's not, it wasn't a brand or anything like that, but he's... I didn't think he would be long before he sold. He actually went on bids at £22.13. So clearly that might be in the second or third bid, I think. So very unusual. Never seen one like that with coloured stones. So that's going. I, I sold a bangle. Again, that's stunningly exciting. Very little money, this one. I've had it for ages. And I'm trying to get rid I've said things that aren't going fast anywhere. Where are you? There. Hang on. 
Don't need to leave feedback for that. No, it's sold. <laughs> Uh, this this one was very unexciting. Yeah, it went for six ninety nine. Now this actually is going to somebody in Inverness, and Inverness, if you do it by Hermes, they want to charge you about a fiver to post the bloody thing. Oh, that's, excuse me. So that's going in the post box this afternoon. And for that value of money, I'm certainly not sending it down for. So there was that, and then there were these lovely things that I know I showed on a haul. And I really don't think I paid very much for them. I can't remember how much when I did get them for two or five, maybe maximum. They're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They're Lenvin, uh, the French designer. Very difficult to see, but it's actually in there, Lenvin. Absolutely stunning. In fact, they've, they've marked the, um, the back as well. You can tell things are good jewellery from looking at the back as much as the front. Fabulous. Just gorgeous bling, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I popped them on, and as I do with the most of my listings, completely forgot about them. And they sold for yeah, hundred twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine p. So that made up for the fact that we came was rather quiet. <laughs> they are smart. They were, I mean, I, I haven't got much of my very high-end stuff online, but every now and again I pop bits on. So was, that's not a land man box, by the way, it's TM Marine, but it keeps stops them really spoiling. Um, what else did I sell? I think I've covered most things. The only other thing was this little thing, which I thought would be worth more when I spotted it. It's Silvac, and it's really detailed, these little bunnies. Nestling by a tree. There we go, little bunnies. Oh, I thought it was something wrong with this tail there, it's just the light <laughs> bouncing off it. Not a chip on it, absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't think it's a jug, technically, technically with ours. I mean, it has a spout, but not what, not looking a very efficient one. I like the um, sort of sundine colour. Um, but that actually only went for 14 99 I might have paid. A pound or two maximum for that. Um, so yeah, those are things going on. And obviously the correct throw. Maybe a marker. A real school girl ever. And um, let's put that there. So right, things that I what I got today. Yeah, it might be a planter or a posy vase or something. It's really cute, but not my taste really. Talking of small animales, because we all know that Alex likes little animals, but not all little animals. <laughs> I picked up these two things at the boot fair the other day. I haven't got a boot fair haul because it's all been photographed. And this, to me, looks like a wombat. His little eyes. And I didn't really want him, to be honest. I, I They were kind of selling things for 25p each, and I didn't have change, and neither did the man. So he gave me that, as well as this. It's a little... I think he's some sort of bird with a very pointy face. I don't know. I have no idea, but he, had, he just had such nice lines on him, and he feels nice too. He's a lot older than the other one. This this one feels modern to me. He's quite old. I just, I just had to really, 25p. Little one, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was for Lexus benefit. Now, things what I bought today. <clears throat> I got, I'll do the jewellery first. Penguin, possibly. Yeah, do they have little buns like that? I suppose they do. He could be a penguin. Thank you, Lex. I really wasn't sure. I never was bird like. Or well, we could have been Nanty, but then Nanty just have a long tail. So identify that animal. There was something slightly Maori about it, yeah. It's got he's got no label, no signature or anything. I do quite like Maori art though, but a wombat would kind of figure, wouldn't it? Because they have them too. Who knows? Thank you, Storm. Right. Uh, in one shop, I paid two pounds for this. This is kind of like it looks like a milk glass and black glass. These beads have um. Hmm. 
yeah, strange design on, but it's glass and it is vintage. So, well, actually, I'm saying it's vintage, but the, I think they may have replaced that. And it is now on fishing wire. But hey ho. And this is what I really like. Even much better. A barrel clasp. Nice. You can't see glass. It doesn't look good on camera, does it? Really nice glass beads. With gold stations and things between. Classic classic style of necklace that I love. When I see these in glass, I just pick them up because they're lovely. Kiwi. Hmm. Maybe, Ashley. Thank you. I'll have to investigate. But he's just rather cute. And, and has nice lines. That's why I bought him. Right, so that was a four pound spend in that chatter. I'll put those in my to be dealt with pile. I've got a bit of a backlog of jewellery again. I just find it easier to list clothes, which sounds daft, but it's what I'm used to. Now, this I picked up. Now, I don't know if it is the John Richard collection, because I don't think they're anything all that. But I paid £3 for this. It wasn't £2. And I thought, oh, that's quite nice. And it's kind of got half a white pearl and half a is that black. Very dull green almost. But of course, me being me, what they hadn't done is lift up the back and seen that it says simply silver sterling. <laughs> so I got myself a nice 925 silver necklace, quite a short one, with this kind of wear it whichever way you think. Has little tiny little fine stones in between. I don't know. I thought that was quite nice. And I thought for three, yeah, all right. Don't mind if I do. Do like a bit of silver. That's kind of silver I don't mind putting on eBay because it's not an Etsy sort of thing. Modern. But modern silver's fine. Silver in any form is fine for me. Oh, £220 for a three inch bear oh yes i did see on instagram i i didn't get to look very closely at what what said three inch bear what made him so very very special was he signed <laughs> we all want to keep an eye out for them but they'll, they'll obviously come along once in a blue moon <laughs> but yeah some some things do go for good money don't they so i do like to look at wooden things right the rest of what's in here ooh, apart from one thing is clothes Seat. I'm being careful because the thing that I don't want to break. Ah, it is wrapped in a in something. A little ashtray, but look at the curves and the lines. Now he has got. A very tiny flea bite, but I think that's a manufacturer flaw because that doesn't look like a. I should get out the eye. No, that looks like a manufacturer flaw rather than anything else. No, that's had a bit of scratching. Well, I paid a pound for it, so I just grabbed it because I like the look of it. It's got a nice clean bottom just with the prerequisite scratches that you would expect of something of any age. But it has had a bit of a life, so it's not going to go for a great deal. It was obviously meant as an ashtray, I'm assuming, with these little grooves for cigarettes. But again, it, the colour doesn't show up. You can see there's a slight blue tint. It's actually a really nice turquoisey blue. And again, I was being a magpie and picked it up because I thought, ooh, pretty. <laughs> Buys remorse and send it back. A camel. Ooh. Now, Stall, did 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 Lex buy the bear? Am I thinking? <laughs> or have I misunderstood? <laughs> we don't want people with buyers remorse. Right, okay, so on to the I say clothes and shoes. I'm trying not to buy too many shoes at the moment, but I picked these up because they're Holtz and they were £2.50. They've had very little wear. They're obviously worn for an occasion. Nice little Diamante buckles on there. They're satin, so 
you know, if someone's got an event, and I think if people, once people were actually, <laughs> no, I didn't think you did. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I suppose it is, isn't it? I'm always a bit wary of saying things in Murano, but that's clearly had a life, and it's obviously been around since the 60s or 70s. You know, I think once people really realise that you can actually go out to social things and events again, there's going to be a little bit of a run on the more dressy, dressy stuff. I'm hoping anyway, partly because I've got a fair bit of it left over from last year. But they were in jolly nice nick, and but they are a small size. They're 37, which is a UK four. So hopefully someone with tiny feet is going out somewhere soon. Tiny, tiny feet. Actually, I say that my sister's got size four feet. <laughs> It's not that tiny. Mm. Right. Let's hope the zip on this works. I'm going to look at There's always something in the pocket. No? Is that not in the pocket? Thank you. Oh, no, it's part of it. That's all right. <laughs> you think, oh. You know the tissue in the pocket thing? Yes. When I was up in reaching about, I they were they were open for inside eating and drinking. <coughs> queuing up to get in. So yes. Right, this is quite nice. The zip works, which is the man dress very sweetly let me shop a bit early because I forgot they didn't open to a ten to get me in early and it was so much nicer being able to run to out other people. I don't know how well this brand is still doing. They seem to be very on and off. This, oh, this is Kappa. Um, I think they have a following, don't they? Ten minutes and drinking. Mm, drinking. A little bit of a clean up. Needs a bit of cuff there, but in pretty good order. It's a kind of a mucky, mucky orange colour. I think it's a guy's. Yeah, it's definitely a guy's. And it's one of these sort of wind shooter things that's kind of open at the back. So, for the two pounds it cost me. Yeah, I think Kappa was still. Especially the sort of anything with these logos on and the two ladies. Seems to do alright. You know, nothing nasty in the pockets. That's always a leak. So, if too quick, it'll be a good return on that, I'm sure. This is an LK Bennett top. I don't pick up everything LK Bennett, but I like the colour. And I'm not overly bothered. They have quite nice sleeves, you see. I thought that was quite nice. Not too thick, just a jersey thing. I mean, I wouldn't have paid up for it, but a two quid, yes. Um, yeah, I'm taking a slightly different stance this year. I'm not really buying much in the way of summer stuff because I've got quite a lot in stock and I think it needs to sell if I keep getting more. What I am doing is picking up the big chunky jumpers and stuff that everyone's getting rid of because, of course, in a few months' time, cold weather will be back if it ever goes away. And... Um, I was doing right on jumpers, so my taste is obviously shared by a lot of other people. <laughs> um, right, slight exception though, I did pick up this rather quirky little shirt because this is vintage monsoon and it's got that fussy collar and it's a bit cottagecore, isn't it? Now I've realised that it probably originally came with a belt, but I may just take that off because I don't have the belt and to be honest, I don't actually think it needs it. So, nice, um, nice washing powder they were using now. Do you ever do that? Get something that comes in lovely washing powder and go, oh, I wonder which one that is. I'd quite like to have that. <laughs> yeah, more cold weather. I mean, we're in mid-May, and although it's not raining currently, it's, it's not particularly warm. Now, yeah, and come, so, come October again, we'll be going, oh, time to dig out the sweaters. So, yeah, I picked this up. I do like to pick up a bit of Frank Usher. It's vintage. It is. Um, and it's quite small. But look at that for design. Hang on, that's the bag. Let's get rid of these. 
don't need that all, is it? There we go. That's the front. And I thought that's rather fab and retro. And it is a, it's a plain long one with a split at the front. It's a tiny size, but this kind of strappy look is a bit 90s, a bit Y2K. So I do think ah, I picked it up. We'll see. It'll all sell eventually. It always does. Right. This was a surprise because they normally price Reese up at more. But this was also two pounds. Again, it's not for now, I suppose. It's a dress. But it's quite nicely structured. The twist front. I suppose it could be a worky work dress or a party dress. If you're that kind of person. I'll get some more Italian sausages. Please do. That'll be lovely. I'll do that tonight. <laughs> Italian sausage for tea. No, that's not a euphemism. Oh, dear God. No, with pasta. <laughs> One of my husband's favourite dishes. Good Lord, you have to watch what you say. Yes, it goes very well with satin cheese, I think. Quite a look. And it'd have to be somebody of slender, delicate proportions who wore it. Not someone like me. <laughs> ah, right, I picked up another one here, which has got the kind of Y2K feel about it. This is Karen Millen. I used to love Karen Millen in the 90s. This is a strappy dress. This is perfect. It's velour. Velvet velour. Nice long, 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 long dress. I'm showing it off so nicely. Aren't I? I do love red. Red likes me. <laughs> that's actually quite a, has it got a size? Well, it's a 10, but I think we'd be lucky if that fitted a modern eight. There's a lot of people with a lot of parties to go to, aren't there? This goes with some silk and lined in silk. That's when you know you've got a good quality item when the lining is actually silk because that's the bit that goes next to your skin and you want it to be lovely. Just saying. I wish more people would do that. Because <laughs> you can get something nice, fabulous. Monsoon will do it. They'll do the silk kind of number, but the in inside will be acetate. Ooh, Bad Wolf. Hello, Susan Bad Wolf. Nice to see you. Kinky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mm, Devore, yes, it's the burnout. They call it burnout in America, Devore. Um, where you start off with the velvet and then you remove and just left with mesh. Very weird. Okie dokie, I picked this up because it was suitably golf. Can't help it, drawn to it. This is JS Collections. I wonder who they are. No idea. But it's a skirt and it's all lace and asymmetric and nasty man made material. Truth be, truth be told, I'm really selling it, aren't I? That's how it's done. I mean, that's how it was done. Whether that's still how it's done, I don't know. But they make the velvet and then they literally burn out the to create the pattern. I think I could be talking out my bottom out to Carlo. Good to see you. Just thought I'd do a wee live. There we go. So that's very um steampunky. What size is it? It's probably quite vintage. UK 12, mm, possibly, a bit on the small side for 12. Sort of thing I wouldn't mind if it wasn't all nylon. Oh, brine nylon. Something for the fellas. I will pick up camo, cargo style shorts because it is that season and I quite like these. They're quite a natty little wave design on them. They're not a particular brand, as far as I can tell. They're 36, they're too big for my fella. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and they are a zip fly, which is infinitely easier than better buttons. I, I, I've not heard of S Boy as a brand, but I like the style. Cargo style, big zips and loose and baggy. <laughs> hey, sugar tits. <laughs> oh dear how are you feeling Carla are you alright are you better than you were this morning that's what I was going to say without going into details I hope so Banana Republic again these are a bit out of season these are ladies yeah a ladies size 8 Ryan is the model they're trousers but you know 
Nobody wanted soon enough. I'm dizzied. Good. Jolly glad to hear it. That must be horrible. I don't do dizzy very often. At least not without the involvement of, of quantities of alcohol. Um, right. They also got crumpled up in the... I like the colour of these though. They're really nice blue and with purple and black top and running through them. I think they'll, they'll be current for the coming seasons. Mmm, yeah. And you don't drink. <laughs> so, oh, now this. This is the last thing. And I couldn't believe it when I saw this. <laughs> oh, Josh. <laughs> Carlos 5D G chip was updating. This was two pounds. It felt like heaven. I'm like, oh, this is good. This is so good. This was in the man's section. And it was a real handsome piece for two pounds. The heaviest thing in the shop, big, big coat. Military style coat, really. It's got the sort of belted bit at the back, a single vent lined in this crazy lining and can anyone see what it says it actually says virgin atlantic do what <laughs> you got lex's hangover well somebody had to <laughs> lex gets away with it now this i i just grabbed it i mean i didn't even look at anything this says Have you seen that, Ms. Lex? Vivian Westwood for Virgin Atlantic. Are you effing kidding me? I have no idea how. I, is it someone's uniform? Is it? Is it what? Who knew? Um, it's got wool. It's seventy-five percent wool, twenty percent nylon, five percent cashmere. So it does have a cashmere content. But I think this is what I was picking up. But this is like it's never been worn. It's got that new, new feeling. New, new. It's actually got my hairs all over it now. Look, I moped. It's amazing. It's a flight attendant. Car. I thought it might be. But it's, I mean, obviously in current circumstances, I would imagine it's not, it's not been used. Yes, yeah, she must have done. She must have designed the info. And it's double breasted as well. It's beautiful. If I was a bloke, I'd want to wear it. But I'm not. 42 long. So that's a medium, isn't it? 42. My, by my recollections. How does that work? There's a I'm making the right thing of this. Doing that the wrong way for a start off. Let me assemble it now and show you properly. Get a willy. Well I've I've heard they can be purchased. I believe Wish is quite a good source of very peculiar things. Something that can be attached. <laughs> that's that's harking back to your conversation the other day, isn't it? <laughs> With Lex. Strap ons. <laughs> that's the word you were looking for. Right, even the buttons say Virgin Atlantic on it. There we go. That's a handsome thing. God. I think somebody might want that. <laughs> it's just amazing. <laughs> And there it was, just hanging there. I thought, well, they're going to want more. No, two pounds. Two effing pounds. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, it's quite a few members. There's quite a few people in my family who've been um, involved in, in, in flight, shall I say. Um, my uncle was a pilot for many years in America, and he met his third wife, my aunt, who was a, I say trolley dolly is not the word to use now, is it flight attendant? And my aunt Alicia also was British Airways flight attendant. <laughs> oh, someone's been searching. 2013 story. Oh, so it goes back a little bit then. I'm really going to in, in have fun with searching this. But, I mean, you are allowed to sell them, aren't you? It's not like you can't. Well, that, exactly, I mean... No, it's mine. <laughs> um, 
uniform, I guess. No, there's a little, little Virgin Atlantic thing there as well. But it's kind of so discreet that someone could remove that tiny little thing quite easily and no one would really ever know. Um, that was my best find. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. My research will tell me I can get a million two pounds for it. Or at least a few. I think I should kind of just sort of squish it up in the bottom of a bag, really. So that's today's haul. Um, I spent four pounds in one charity shop and 26.50 in another. So I'm taking that 30 quid there. All in all, I would imagine that coat will exceed that 30 quid up. Flipping, I hope so. Um, yeah, so chuffed of Tunbridge. Um, I hope you guys are all having good hunting yourself. I know the boot fairs have been off and on a ball, given the weather and all that kind of malarkey. Um, like I say, I, I only picked up a very few things myself when I was out and about because the weather was rubbish and I came airing home because the heavens, because the heavens opened. Um, I was there at not long past six o'clock in the morning, which is unheard of for me. Um, but there you go. So good hunting. Hope you find lots of goodies this week. And let's hope the weather perks up for next weekend so that boot fairs can really be a thing and we can all clean up. <laughs> yes, still. Yes, I've become aware of that. There's certain things I know a reasonable amount about, but there's an awful lot I know very little about. What I like to do is know quality and know when I touch something or look at something that it's good. So, are oh, there? Oh, okay. I done good. Oh, I have to make sure my hairs aren't on it though. It's it's springtime, and I, I'm like I'm like the cat. I I molt, <laughs> molt in springtime. Crazy. So, you know everything about nothing. No, you know lots. You know lots of things, Lex. <laughs> and so does Carla. <laughs> we all know some things. Just is it useful? <laughs> I know far too much about things that I really shouldn't. <laughs> Anyway, you all take care of yourselves and I will leave you to it and see you soon because I'm hungry and I need some lunch. <laughs> see you later. Bye bye now. <laughs>